Welcome back to the channel guys, it's maintenance repairs and MOT week. The car mount bush is done. This is, how bad are they? Well, this is, <laughs> they were there. I'll show you before I go. No bother about Halford Advance? Halford Advance is pretty good up here. Aye, like what? 600 quid for a 12 piece set. You take this right out. Ganny's better than Volvo because they make it harder for you. <laughs> so not hard remove the airbags from the front as your cab front mount the airbags and we're just going to use a tool just to lift the front end of the cab up in the air and that allows to get into the cab out bushes unbolt this all so we take it out and replace them Is this safety approved, Stuart? Yes. <laughs> Chain there, chain there, up to here, and just look at it. Obviously, it sits like that, so it kind of drags the car forward a bit. Okay, okay. Tim, hey, what else are you talking about lifting? Above the fucking. Above the grill? Yeah, so you can put an overhead chain and put the chain down behind. Just a fork either side of it. Or just one fork. Just one fork. Sure's face of processing. Off a shot. Did you move it though? What? Did you move it? <laughs> what is that? Are you going to? It's not going to. I'll get on it. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. Grab an end, Sam. So we've got plan B, which I've been told is not very safe because this fantastic device is not working. I don't know why. Why the hell did it work before though? I don't know, but... No, don't, don't, no, no one could remember how they did it before. Over-engineered, though. Right? So, we're just going to put a fork straight under there. I don't know. That's all right. That's a bit tender on there. <laughs> That's like. It's like, oh, you get it done quick. Right, so we'll keep the gun wrapped. <laughs> Let's go. You're taking this easy in your stride. Scanny trained mechanic and he even said Scanny's too expensive. <laughs> Can yeah, I leave it on? Hopefully fine. <laughs> yeah. Don't be worried about bushes, put a bit of sickle flex in there. Oh.
So I decided to give this side a go myself. Shouldn't be too hard. Just take my time. I do believe we're going to have to get the burning gear out to get the bearing out. But nothing we haven't tackled before. That side just fell out there, but we still have the rest of the bearing stuck in there. I mean, look at the state of that. So tackle it with the chisel first. Bigger chisel. Now we're gonna get ourselves a wee bit of heat on. Now we could run a weld round it, I would people do suggest it, but we did not have a welder available at the time. So nice wee bit of heat just to cut it. And just take your time to make sure you don't overburn it. Now just going out with the chisel again, heel bar, pull the rest of it out, and as easy as that, there we go. Now just to clean it all up, get ready to press the new bearings in. This is one side done already. Now just to remind everyone, I am not a fitter, mechanic or any sorts, I've just taught myself things along the way and learned beside other people. Now just push the bearing in, hammer it in with a wee brass punch and then the rest of it with a big socket and whatnot, keep lubricating it up, just put the finishes on it. The bigger persuasion hammer definitely helps. Now we'll show you what we did here. So we see before that recesses all the way flush there. And then goes past that and then we have to push it back the way we're going to stick that uh, in there now into that groove and then send her home Try and use the hammer, just wedge that down. See, because that is in this end, in that hole, we need to jam it off. There we go. Nice action, nice action. Right, I think that'll do me tonight. Well, that's completed, uh, and I've got a few bits of lights. We're going to walk on for another hour, and then get a shower, and get my dinner, and we'll finish this in the morning. Oosh, morning! Right, next day, uh, crappy weather to be walking outside, but it is what it is. We just muscle on. Now, I just got a phone for Greg Couples. He is painting the front bumper of the lorry because the driver's side was broken because I clipped a rock. And I decided just to get a new piece and respray the whole front bumper. He gave me a nice phone call day to quickly say he's going to put the first coat on that will come down and see. And we are definitely doing that. So I'm just chapping on down to Brownsburn now. Uh, and thanks to Kenny for giving me a shot of his car.
was nearly gone. <laughs> 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 I am so excited to get that bumper on. Only problem is the rest of my Ori is going to be a bit dull now because she is working and then that's all fresh and paint. So we might have to try and find some time to polish her up next week before the show. But it's more important we get the Ori roadworthy and legal. That's what's more important than looking shiny and pretty. But it does look amazing that. That's a new bush is fitted, just build it all back up, put the airbags in, the airlines all, front end back on, that's all done. Right, cab mount bush is done, brake pads done, lights, pernicky LED things all done, just to give her a test drive, and now, uh, just go for a couple of miles just to bed in the brakes and what not, but, she's solid, you can definitely tell there's a difference in the cab mount bushes, no banging anymore, oh look at that, Kevin Connor! Kevin Connor's always buying new toys. KNT Transport, look him up, he's got a really nice 620. Very tidy. Actually, the system or one I used to drive for sure, and I call it. Well, I tell you now, the difference in the cab out bushes is no more banging, knocking. Horrible noise would come from it. I wish I did it sooner, but it's done now. The brakes are nice and good. Get a wee brake test as well when we get back. Double check them. And then uh, we've just got a wee pernickety things for the MOT and we're all good. Oh, I get the front bumper on. Right, another repair I need to do to my lorry, which is common with a scanny, was the door hinge. Now, it's quite bad when the wind catches these and yanks them forward, and over time the crack will just form round. So I got Scott from the Coboilers to come over, clean it up, and run a weld round it. So one of those things that I'll get to next week. Really happy with the weld, now I just need to give a wee touch up of paint. 
Now, while I was waiting to get back over the pit, we put the truck in the wash bay to give it a right good scrub down for the MOT. Now, we got a power work done. Fifth wheel's getting done. We fixed the door. I've just been to Scanny to pick up some last little bits just to tighten up the side skirts. I'm here to pick up my bumper. Tires are done. Everything is nearly ready to go for MOT. New track bar. Had to be another full new track bar because we couldn't get the adjustable end off. £800 from Scanny. £110 from somewhere else. I can't remember the company here in the central belt. Can't wait to see my bumper. Well, I can definitely say the bumper has made a massive difference. Look at that. Just breaks up that blue quite a lot. Now, the bumper's done. We panicky things. Glenn is going to do my fifth wheel for me. Let me show you because it's fine, but it will need done eventually. So we might as well just do that now. So we're putting a new set of jaws in it. There's the old ones. They are okay, but okay is not good okay is not great so let's get them done and i'm going to tackle the track bar myself i've never done one before but uh glenn will keep me right uh so i replaced this whole thing last year um the fixed end went and this is the adjustable end this time and they only last a year and the adjustable end's gone but we can't get it off so we're just placing the whole thing this was 800 pounds from scanny quoted uh but from truck part euros or euro, I don't know a crowd down there 110 quid for the whole lot uh, so just undo that that one here drop it down counting these threads easy as that Okay, <laughs> plan B, I've been given a, a ball joint splitter. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna tighten that up there and it's gonna just squeeze and push and pop out. Oh, look at that. Right tool for the job. Seriously, see when you've got the right tool for the job. Half the battle. Here's my new one. £110 plus the bat. Better than 800 quid plus the bat from Sky. That's why it's good to shop around. Right, how's that, Charlie? Is it? Maybe just need remember that it's a slightly different shape, so yeah, I've been sacked from all one simple job. <laughs> <laughs> Swing it! No, I see my pull up shield. Oh, what are you on the fire brigade? I'm going to do. Well, you are? I've been here for two years. Oh, you go home. Oh, I'm after. See, because the camera's on now. What? Are you fucking. The three steam light on the fucking fan loaf? Oh, one hand. Oh, that's good. Cool, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's me and my feet around the time. Oh, aye. So, we're finding new brackets to the side skirts and uh, the bolt stripped and snapped, so Stuart has. Putting new ones in. Turn it down, then I'll square you up for it. Please. Chris, I'll tell you right now. Sorry? No. No. <laughs> aye, aye. All perfect's better. Shut up. All perfect's better. Buy all perfect.
Not all smart. <laughs> So I avoid the same mistake happen this side with the bolt snapping. So I take my time and use a wee bit of heat and just work the nuts out. Not too much heat because this is fiberglass and I didn't want to break it. But as you can see, this trick was working. No bother. Wee bit of impact. You can just see the corrosion that's happened in the old brackets. And then I just had to clean this all out and fit the new ones and do the same with the others. New rubbers as well to make it all nice and tight. Right, LOT is the next day. LOT has been pulled forward by two hours. Units all done, finally washed. New double plate. Taking that trailer as well. Test ready. It's been a long time since I've ever had a curtain on. Oh, just going to get Stuart through. He's coming through with me, which is handy. He's a good big guy. I'll thank all the boys at SNT and Glenn as well uh, for doing my fifth wheel because there's always so much limitations I have as doing maintenance and whatnot. So that's why when it comes to certain things, I like to get people to know better than me, but also learn from them as well. Is that the MOT vest? The pass vest. The pass vest. Man, I'm a fool's ass vest on. Check the zip. It's always hard to tell, so far so good, but you can never tell with a tester because they might spot something and not tell you. Brake test now. But we've already done this, so we know the brakes are fine. But every brake tester is different. Hey man, take it forward. Oh. Well. Archie's got a tidy setup and a tidy fleet as well of tippers. Garage service lot, this is his test station. Ash is a good guy, I really like him. Right, that's it. Test is done. Let's see if we got a pass. I've yet to get a fail. Pass for pass. So the vest worked. Hi. <laughs> pass vest. <laughs> Well, that is her pass for another year. Thanks to everyone at SNT who gave me a hand. Uh, I've got all the other things I wanted to get done, like the front cab out bushes, the fifth wheel, um, all these extra bits and bobs that just, you want to get round to it. The lorry has got everything she needs and deserves, and we are able to eat illegal for another year. Guys, like I said, if you stick around to the end of this video, thank you very much. And uh, give us a thumbs up and always leave a comment. We'll get, next week, we've got a few things on, and then we're getting ready for the truck show. Uh, a way to... Edinburgh so but I have got a lot on my mind is buzzing right now because I am trying to think of everything we're going to do but thanks again guys and thanks to everyone at SNT it helped me out far out far out Oost.